it's Tybug and welcome back to my channel. So in honor of spooky season and the rerun of her banner, today we are doing Hugh Tao's makeup look. So I have this makeup look posted on my Instagram if you want to go take a look at that, but I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to do that. I don't mind my hair, I'm in the middle of bleaching it again so I can go back to my blue. So there's like some white, some blue, and a little bit of yellow, but it's all over the place right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have your hair back because a lot of the makeup look is like right on the side of the face is where we're doing her flowers so like if you have hair in the way it's gonna like get all messed up or you're not gonna see the full look so pin it back braid it back I did like a little bit of a braid my bangs are really short right now so I like had to like finagle it and then also if you're doing like a Hugh Tao cosplay I know her hair kind of goes over her face so if you like want to reposition the flowers that's totally fine okay so to start off we're gonna start off super basic and we're gonna do the face first because that is going to, um, there's going to be stuff over the face, so you don't want to be like moon maneuvering around it just to get stuff done. So I'm just going in with my concealer, and I'm just going to blend out the edges since I'm not doing foundation with this look. You can do foundation, that's totally fine. It's just not something I like to do. And then I'm just going to powder my forehead because it looks like a little spotlight right now, but you're not going to powder on your cheeks yet or on your temples. So be aware of that. I, I don't know what it is about the pressed powder that makes it difficult to work on top of though, but the blush I noticed is okay. So I did the Kosas pressed powder and the Kosas concealer, and now I'm gonna go in with the Buxom Wanderlust blush in Dolly, and we're gonna get that on top of our temples. We're gonna get it everywhere. We're gonna put the flowers. So really focus it right around the eyes in this like little C shape here. Then we're going to get on the nose, kind of connect that a little bit, but like not too intensely. Giving our flowers a little bit of a background right here. Flushed and beautiful. Gonna add a little bit more right there. Okay, so that's basically it for the face. I'm going to go back in with highlighter in a little bit, but like that's that's ending parts. Next, we're gonna get into the little ghosty. The little ghosty is like my favorite part because like that's what makes it Hugh Tao. Cause like if you just have the flowers, it could be like anything, but like the little ghosty is like Hugh Tao itself. So I'm gonna go off of my picture on Instagram. I love this. So originally I just had it, if you can tell, I just had the, focus on that. I just had the ghost like underneath my lip, but this time I'm gonna like kind of connect it to my lip. I'm not gonna have it coming out of my lip because I don't want to put white eyeliner on my lip, but like you can do that if you want. But it's basically like emerging from you. It's like this ghost is part of you. The ghost is you. We're going to do that. So I'm using this uh, Glam Vice Pastel Paradise Face and Body Art color palette. They rebranded to Gavissi, I think. I'll have them down below. But this just has all the colors I'm gonna need, the white, and then I have a separate thing for the flowers. So for these water activated liners, I use um, just like nail brushes off of Amazon. And I'm going to go in, I don't, I'm, I'll use like a little bit of a, an angled brush. I'll use this little brush here. And you're just gonna wanna get that brush wet and start like activating the liner. I can't hold this up to show you because then I'll get um, the liner everywhere. It'll just fall out. So you're just gonna wanna start off with a little bit of water and start making it kinda creamy you'll know when it's ready because if it's too liquidy it just won't it won't apply nicely Whoa, my mirror okay so maybe the corner of the lip is a good spot and just work in small motions don't feel like you have to go super duper big right away it's basically like you're drawing a little like um speech bubble so like the tail where it's coming from your mouth and then a big a big like light bulb kind of shape at the top. And you can make it as big or small as you want. And you can edit the shape as you go along since we'll be filling it in. 
But since you have um, concealer on already, be careful when you're working with the um, liner because it can make your white not look as white as you want it to. It's a good shape. It's a little bit more diagonal than I have done it before, but that's fine. Now we can fill that in and we'll do the arms in just a second. If you notice the foundation is making your ghosty look not as um, opaque as you want, work in smaller sections so then it's not like you're spreading it as much because when you're spreading it a whole bunch it's going to be mixing it. It's slow work, but it pays off. I'm really excited for the Hue Tail banner. Not for the reason you may think, because I don't think I really want Hue Tail because I have a lot of pyro characters already, but I really want Toma. <laughs> and Toma's another pyro character. There are so many pyro characters. I'm like loyal to um, Yanfei because even though I have Klee, I don't use Klee that much. I use Yanfei more. So I don't, at this point, I'm just collecting the characters to put in my teapot, not to actually play. I know that's horrible, but I, I just like having the characters so I can make like little homes for them. I'm basically just playing Sims at this point. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to get pull on Child's Banner because this is his third rerun. So it's like, either he's going to have a whole bunch more reruns, or this is going to be his last rerun. So it's like, the question you need to ask yourself is, one, what is happening? I like his character now that he's not like being all fake and everything, but I don't know. He is a Hydro character, which is like a little bit different. I don't know, I'm debating. Okay, now we're going to add the arms, and we're just going to do like little spooky arms, like, Wah! Wah! Bata! It's gonna, you gotta be careful. Since I'm talking so much to do the tutorial, it's kind of cracking a little bit. Because usually when I'm doing my makeup, I wait to talk before. Like, I wait till it's dry before I start talking. But since I have to, like, communicate with you guys, it's cracking a little bit. So, like, you see this? It's it's not going to look like that when you're doing it. Unless you're, like, a really talkative person while you're doing makeup. In that case, maybe take a break from talking while you're doing this just till it dries. Because it's, it's cracking just a little bit for me. Okay, now we're going to wait for that to dry before we do the little face on it. Because if we just put the face on top of it while it's still wet, it's just going to mix together. It's not going to look very good. Okay, so next... I need to put this brush somewhere. I'm going to put it there. Next, we're going to do a little bit of a wing liner. This is all we're going to be doing on the actual eyes, just a little liner. Just do as big a... I would recommend doing a small wing, like not too big since we're putting the flowers right there. But you can go as big as you want. My tip for doing eyeliner is do it when your eye is open. I know that seems like, what? How do I do that? But... I have like semi-hooded eyes, not exactly hooded eyes, I don't know. You can classify it as whatever you want, but I don't want to, it like messes up when I do it with my eyes closed because then when I open my eyes it looks different. So if you do it when your eyes are open, you're going to get the end result that you want because it's going to look the way you want it while you're doing it instead of when you close your eyes and you do it and then you open it, it's going to look different, you know? That's what it is. It is what it is. Okay, now we're going to move on to the flowers. This is the Wet Liner by Glisten Cosmetics and the shade Lobster. They have a whole bunch of red shades, so it's kind of hard to like pick one. But I decided to go with Lobster, and I hope this is the right red shade. When I first did this makeup look, I'm cracking. But when I first did this makeup look, I did it with my red lipstick because I didn't have a red liner. I didn't have any red liner to start off with. I didn't have any um, activated water liners in red, so I had to use lipstick. <laughs> And let me tell you, that stained my face for a couple of days. The flowers looked okay, but I was stained. I was majorly stained. What, what brush am I going to use? I'm going to use this one. Which is maybe a little bit smaller. I use this one. I just, 
I like working smaller versus bigger because I feel like I have more control. But when I like watch like makeup um, like competition videos, like what is it? The one in Britain, I forgot what it's called. It's on Netflix. There was like, go in big strokes, be confident in your big strokes. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not confident yet. So I'm using this little tiny brush. <laughs> and I have a cup of water here, by the way. I usually do this in my bathroom so I can just go to the sink, but I'm gonna use my cup of water. So I'm dipping my brush in it and I'm gonna start activating the red. Okay, while we're doing this, you don't wanna think of flowers. You wanna think of shapes. Like we're doing a teardrop and another teardrop. Cause if you think about flowers, you, you get overwhelmed, okay? I get overwhelmed. So I assume everyone else gets overwhelmed. We're gonna start right by the eye cause that's gonna be this, the, the thing is in my way because that's where our first flower is gonna be you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want you do you but I'm gonna do like three flowers on each side It's a little bit messed up, but that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. And we'll fill that in in just a second. Right now I'm just doing the line work. And I'm holding my wrist to do this because my wrist is shaky and it just helps me stabilize and so I don't have to like go on my face. And I go, I don't like block my eyebrows out. I just go around my eyebrows. My eyebrows is part of the look. <laughs> it, it, it's incorporated. And then I think I'm gonna do one right down here. So it's gonna interact with the little ghosty a little bit. There we go. There's our three flowers. Now we're gonna fill that in. Or we can do the other side. Let's do the other side while we have this liner brush out. So I always start with the main flower by the eye, just in case we're doing overlapping. Cause this makes it easier to be like, okay, what is the top flower? What is in the foreground versus what is in the background? You can do round flowers or she has like kind of triangle flowers, like square at the top and like rounded at the bottom. She has like a variety of flowers in her hat, so you can really do any type of flower. But we're gonna be doing the white center and we're gonna outline it with the black to make it more emphasized in just a second. And you always wanna make sure you're not adding too much water to your liner because if, you, oh no, I should have done the top one first. Cause if you add too much water, it's just gonna run. Ta-da, ta-da, there's your flowers. Okay, this is almost dry. So I'll go to that in just a second. I'm gonna use this brush. Boop, 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 focus. And I'm using the same red to fill her in. I really need to focus while doing this. But you see like, even when it's filled in, it doesn't look that defined. That's where we're gonna go in back with the liner and the white just to like, make it pop a little bit more. I still haven't met Hugh Town in the game, actually. I met her a little bit during the, um, the Moon Chase Festival, but like, I barely met her. I haven't done any of the character storylines either though, so I'm, babe, I'm way behind, even though I play, I've been playing since the release of the game. Cause I only play when I'm with you guys. Other than like, um, daily quests or daily commissions, that's what it's called. But like all the storyline stuff I like to do with you guys. It's more fun that way. Okay, now we're gonna let that dry down. Next, we're going back to the little ghosty. And we're gonna draw a face on it. For the face of the ghosty, I think I did a smiley face. Okay, so I'm gonna do two lines. I'm gonna use the liner. These are the eyes. I need to get a black activated liner. Can you see those eyes? I need to make a mouth with the black too. Okay, and we're just gonna do, think of it as a D, but on its, on its belly. I think 
my liner is dying a little bit there. It's a little bit of a different type of ghosty. And then just a little tiny little pop of... Ah! In this palette, I have like a pastel pink. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of that in the center of the mouth just so it looks a little bit more defined. I was like, yes, this is the mouth of the ghosty. Ta-da! It's a cute ghost. Okay, next I'm gonna do my eyebrows and my lips while I'm waiting for this to dry. I'll be right back. You guys know how to do that, right? I would hope so. So I did my Essence Make Me Brow for my brows, my Melt Kush Mascara for my eyelashes, and my NYX Powder Puff Lippy for my lips. Next I'm gonna go with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I usually don't use highlighter while I'm doing, um, Twitch because it can give you the appearance, appearance, appearance of being a little bit like oily or greasy. So I usually don't do that before like this type of stuff. That's fine. I haven't tried this highlighter before, but I'm excited. There isn't anywhere to put it really, but we're going to the brow bone because our highlight spots are occupied, occupado. It's so pretty. It's such like a little What? <laughs> it's like a, a natural highlight kind of. Cause like it doesn't look sparkly, but it still glows. Love it. Love it. And it's this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlight, so it's like four dollars. Love it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the little white dots in all of these looks. All of these flowers. There's our center of the dots, the center of the, the flowers. And now, to make it all pop, we just gotta do the outline and then we're done. Yeah, then we're done. I wouldn't recommend powdering over the, um, the ghost unless you have a translucent powder. Mine is a little bit tinted, so it will kind of like change the whiteness of the ghost. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm hoping this liner is not dead on me, but it may be dead on me, so I'll have to stop it and come back. But basically, you're just outlining it, and you're gonna wanna do like the same teardrop sort of shape. Just think of that instead of doing a flower shape. And it's okay if you go outside the flower. Oh no, it is dying on me. You can leave it to your own preference if you want it outlined or not, but I kind of like it outlined because it gives it more of a cartoony kind of vibe. My liner is dying on me. Do you see what it did? What it did? What it did? Okay, you get the gist. I'll be right back. Ta-da! It's a little bit bolder than I would have done it, but that's because the tip of my eyeliner actually literally died and it's like now a giant stub. So it's not sharp anymore. So like if you have a water activated black liner, maybe do that, but I don't know. Kind of like the, the chunkiness of the outside makes it look more cartoony. Did I outline the ghosty? Is that, did I do that? No, I didn't outline the ghosty. So this is the completed makeup look. I hope you like it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. Let me know if you guys try out this makeup look, whether it's just like for fun or you're doing it as a cosplay. I'd really like to see it. I love this look a lot, especially like when I use like a an old timey filter on it. I like feel so, ooh, ah, I love it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Have a spooky weekend. And I'll see you guys soon. Make sure you're healthy. I hope you're healthy and safe. See you later. Bye.